8 degrees in Winnipeg. A little cool, but for early May, not too bad. Right in the range of what's considered normal. The ground's still a bit cold. We're still getting minus temperatures at night. Still, last couple of years, Eric Stoby has been getting into his garden plot a little earlier. Not drastic change, but... Things are changing, you know, um, especially the weather and the growing season seems to be extending a wee bit. So who decides what's a normal temperature? Forecasters, meteorologists, TV weather people all use an international standard based on a 30-year average, normals. In Canada, normal is determined by data between 1981 and 2010. That's currently under revision. In the meantime, the United States just updated its normals. We're definitely in the last two cycles considerably warmer than in the 20th uh, century as a whole. According to data gathered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, most of the U.S. saw a 10-year rise of average temperatures, in some places as high as a degree and a half. With more extreme weather, as the western U.S. gets drier and the eastern U.S. gets wetter. We actually see the signature, the fingerprint of climate change uh, as it's ongoing. The NOAA analysis produced for the U.S., um, is very much in line with what we're seeing uh, across other countries and other regions. Including Canada, where consensus is climate change is working at a much faster pace. We update the normals for Canada, we can expect uh, to see um, some pretty dramatic warming. Back in the garden plot, the hope is just for a good growing season. We shall see. Summer still to come. Canada is expected to update its normals next year. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg. So as we've heard, these new climate normals are especially important to broadcast meteorologists. Handy then that we have one of this country's best standing by, our own Johanna Wagstaff. So Joe, you were looking forward to these new numbers today. What do they mean to you? Well, Adrian, being able to compare the temperatures and conditions that we feel to some sort of baseline is everything for a meteorologist. Uh, it not only gives the public you know, context when it comes to the weather, but it's one of our best tools for communicating climate change. It's sort of the lens that we're able to talk about our shifting climate. So the fact that our baseline is shifting is a big deal. You've probably heard of the phrase, weather is what you get climate is what you can expect and those expectations are shifting and I think it's probably time we said goodbye to the 80s you know a hot mm -hmm. summer May or hot May day in 1983 is uh, a normal day for most of Canada in the 2020s so uh, yes time to say goodbye to the uh, 80s I think Adrian if, if we have to so, so have Canada's to. normals are about to be released as well what will you be looking for there I think we're going to see the same sort of shift even in the past decade, you know, somewhere between half a degree to uh, well over two degrees for parts of Canada. I'm really looking for that change in the north. I just wanted to show you a snapshot of the afternoon temperatures across Canada today. Interestingly, today is a seasonably cool day across the country, with the exception of a Callowit. Right now, they're about three degrees above their seasonal, but this is only up until 2010. So when you bring in the next decade, today might be an exceptionally cool day across the country, and a Callowit might be uh, more towards the norm. So really watching for these numbers, and I'm sure I'll see you back here when, uh, when we get the Canadian ones in. You bet. Johanna Wagstaff, thank you. You're welcome.